tips for, for new dietitians working in high performance environment? Yeah, look, I think it's um it's it's such a it's such a big question. Um, and you can see, you know, tonight there's five dietitians on here who have talked really broadly, all of these from different points of view. You know, we've, we've heard about game day and that pointy, pointy end of performance and fueling and what that looks from a, a physical and, and cognitive perspective. Um, we've heard about injury recovery and, and injury prevention and return to play um, and also immune function. We've heard about body composition and, you know, the chat too around what what should we be looking for and you know even even your question and response too about jack about um building muscle mass and what's appropriate or, or not appropriate across the length of an of an athlete's development life and what stages they're at what positions they're playing um and we've heard too from simone you know on this um cooking skills and shopping and nutrition education so I think, and, and even all of those topics, as broad as they are, are only just starting to scratch the surface of what dietitians actually do. Um, you know, we've got, um, you, you're talking about sleep, um, gut health, the more clinical side as well of dietetics. Um, and I think that that starts to give a really clear indication of of one, all of those areas, but two, the broad understanding that you need to have. So I think if you're a dietitian looking to get into sports, it's understanding not just not just your knowledge, but how you fit into the bigger picture as well. You know, you've got to be able to engage with your SNC staff. In your experience, what what are, what are some effective ways that you can yeah be effective with your time? I guess. Yeah, I think again, I think it's you know we come there's probably this old school view that dietitians are, are either the food police um, or we look after body comp and skinnies. Um, and as even, you know, Ben spoke about when he was speaking about skinnies, that if, if that is the component that you're chasing, thinking this is the way I'm going to get better, then you really are missing the bigger picture because it's, it's so much more um, holistic approach than that. Um, so I think if you know, if you're if you're a coach or if you're a, another high performance support staff in that in that environment, if you're not asking your dietitian, you know, how can I get this athlete to sleep better? Or this athlete's coming injured all the time, um, or this athlete seems to get sick all the time. If you're not including your dietitian in those conversations as well, you're really getting you know just a really finite amount of the expertise that you could be getting from, from your dietitian. From the dietitian's perspective, if they are getting a bit of a roadblock due to the leader in that environment, have you been able to influence that situation and, and turn it around or is it a matter of uh, wait for a new boss? <laughs> it can be a little bit of both. It, it's, it's certainly challenging. And to be fair too, you know, I understand that teams have, have budgets as well. Um, and I guess, you know, if you, if you are a team operating under a budget and you're a dietitian coming in with limited hours as well, it's finding where, where's your bang for buck. And that mm. has to be the health of an athlete as the priority. So, you know, dealing with dealing with an athlete's health first. And that might mean that you're missing out on all the performance, actual performance. Um, but you're at least starting to get this, this education based and, and have these touch points of, of health to build it from there. What about some common mistakes uh, either that you, um, you've learnt from early days um, and how did you correct them or pra you've, you've, you've heard mentoring other practitioners and, um, yeah, common mistakes for, for, I guess, those cutting their teeth? Yeah, look, I, I mean, every, everyone's still learning all the time. I've learnt things tonight from listening to the other dietitians here as well. So I think that that's, that's always important is to never feel as though you either have all the answers or you have to have all the answers. There's nothing wrong with saying, oh, you know what, I, I don't actually know that, um, but I can go and find that out or I know who to talk to about that. That's that's always the best approach. And, you know, athletes, are um, they're pretty good at seeing through you as well. So if you don't know, you don't know. Um, don't, don't tell them that you do and bluff your way through. 